When we tested the manual transmission version of the 2016 Cyan M, we said of the Cyan range in general, it's easy to wonder why they're not just sold as Toyotas. Soon afterward, Toyota announced that its youth-targeted sub-brand is shutting down after this model year. So here we have the CVT Automatic M, an orphan at age 1. Testing it wasn't a complete waste of time only because the new for 2016 and will indeed be sold as a Toyota starting next year, just as it has been in Japan and Europe where it's known as the Aorus. Here, it will become the Corolla M when it's adopted by Toyota along with the siblings the FRS, which becomes the Toyota 86, and the IA, which takes the name Toyota Yaris IA. Ok, what's Toyota getting? The M is a four-door hatchback built on the same basic platform as the Toyota Corolla only on a 3.9-inch shorter wheelbase and with an independent rear suspension replacing the Corolla's torsion beam axle. Asian and European markets are offered all-wheel drive, touring, wagon, and hybrid variants, all of which were deemed ill-suited to Cyan's needs, but who knows what Toyota's US marketers will want. We do know we want more power, however. The lazy 1.8-liter four-cylinder under the hood generates 137 horsepower and 126 pounds to foot of torque, about the same as in the Corolla Eco. This engine feels antiquated compared with the 2.0-liter direct-injected 4s most competitors now offer. In our test car, it was mated to a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, that, as in the Corolla, offers seven distinct ratios in sport mode. Curiously, given Cyan's youthful orientation, there are no shift paddles, although manual control is available via the shift lever. We're not big CVT fans, but this one is more agreeable than most, in that the car doesn't drone at constant high RPM during hard acceleration. This helps the M land at the quiet end of the compact hatch spectrum in our noise measurements. One reason automakers use CVTs is to improve fuel economy. In this case, the payoff is one mile per gallon better than the manual shift model, both in EPA ratings and in our tests, where we achieve 28 miles per gallon. Well, the styling's sporty. Appearance-wise, the M Space Capsule styling looks sportier than any Corolla has in ages, it more closely resembles a Civic from the early aughts, when that Honda was really on point. The elongated snout manages to suggest a low nose profile while meeting pedestrian crash standards, a feat that eluded the designers of the like-size Mazda 3. Inside, there are oddities like a strip of off-white faux leather along the bottom edge of the dashboard, which wraps below the climate control buttons before rising up and over the glove box. This strip's color contrast with the rest of the interior struck us as curious. There's contrast stitching on the cloth upholstered seats and door panels and on a round black pad on the driver's side of the console that could be construed as a knee rest. The 7.0-inch touchscreen manages the audio system and phone connectivity while the 4.2-inch color screen in the middle of the gauge cluster functions as an information display. Overall, the cabin is not a bad place to be. It's spacious enough for tall drivers, and adults can tolerate the rear seats for an hour or two, even if the designers seem to have tried a little too hard to make it look cyan youthful. The prime benefit of the M's independent rear suspension manifests in a more controlled and comfortable ride than you'd expect given the car's very firm damping and the shortened wheelbase. The M is taut and planted enough, though, and while the steering and brake feel are both on the numb end of the scale, the overall impression is a chassis that vastly exceeds the capability of the powertrain. In our testing, this CVT model took 9.1 seconds to achieve 60 miles per hour that's a half second slower than the manual transmission in, which itself was a full second slower than a 160 horsepower Ford Focus and 2 seconds slower than a VW Golf. Going for 100 miles per hour? Obviously, that's not a pursuit Cyan wanted its young customers to experience, as it takes an interminable 27 plus seconds to get there. Speed isn't everything, of course, but the M fared no better at the track in these acceleration metrics than a base Kia Soul, which costs a few grand less and offers more utility. 
This M had a slight edge over the stick shift model when it got to the skip pad, where it managed 0.83 grams, a still modest number for the class. Braking from 70 miles per hour took 175 feet, an adequate but not exceptional figure and within a foot of the six-speed car. For the record, the CVT car weighed 39 pounds more than did the manual version. I am what I am and that's all what I am. If the engine needs a can of spinach, at least it's matched by a lack of muscle on the pricing side. With the CVT, it rings in just below $20,000 and, unlike the situation at your local Toyota Emporium, science stores, like Saturn's before them, operate on the no-dicker pricing principle. Everyone pays the sticker price. That may change, however, once the going out of business signs go up. Which might make it worth picking up a Cyan brand M before the model starts wearing the Toyota sombrero on its prow. Toyota is hardly the first to create a new brand only to abandon it, as anyone who remembers Geo and Eagle can attest. Some, Mercury, Plymouth, Oldsmobile, last longer than others, but brands are not all forever. Cyan may be leaving, but the M is sticking around, maybe Toyota can find a way to make it a legitimate contender.